And thank you all, everyone from the media fraternity who've joined us by taking out their precious little time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. As you all know, we are here to celebrate Panasonic's Lumix range full frame mirrorless cameras. Ladies and gentlemen, it's already been 10 years since Panasonic introduced the mirrorless cameras in the market. And since then, there has been no looking back. With an aim to introduce the latest technologies and ready-to-use products for professionals and photographers, Panasonic has constantly innovated and upped their standards in offering products of value and high performance. Ladies and gentlemen, they are the pioneers in 4K technology. Panasonic is known to be a brand that creates products that are a perfect blend of innovative technology and functionality. Panasonic has continued to raise the bar, and today we're here to launch another breakthrough series, the uncompromised full-frame mirrorless Lumix S1 and S1R series. Without any further ado, I request Mr. Manish Sharma, CEO, President, Panasonic India and South Asia, to please render the welcome address. Ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, for Mr. Manish Sharma. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming over. As it says that uh, we have made sure that we did not make any compromise in understanding that what our customers need when it comes to creating uh, excellent quality videos and also the still images. Fundamentally, when it comes to product design, my colleagues will be speaking about specifics of uh, this product, this camera. We have been waiting for a while to launch this wonderful product, but uh, to just to set the tone and let you know that uh, what are the fundamental aspects which go behind Panasonic's thought process of uh, designing any product. There are fundamentally three aspects uh, to our design. The first one is performance. The second one is uh, user interface. And third is the durability of the product. And I'm sure once you expose yourselves with the information that what are the features and specifications, the delivery which this product is supposed to deliver to customers, I'm sure that you're going to agree to me that this product complies to all those three very important pillars of what goes behind Panasonic's thought process of designing the products. When it comes to performance, I believe that this is a power-packed product possessing everything what a photographer or a videographer needs. And a lot of research and a lot of collection of insight has happened not only from across the world, but also from our country to understand that what wedding photographers need, what are the specific features, what are the specific elements of technology which wedding photographers need, which still photographers need. And considering all that, we have made sure that the specifications of camera are top of the class. I'm sure once you have your hands on, on the product, you will realize that this product is slightly bulkier as compared to our cameras which we introduced in the past. GH5 was our last introduction. This is potentially 300 grams more heavier compared to the GH5, which in itself was a fantastic product, power-packed performance. So there might be a thought process that why Panasonic has come up with a camera which is bulkier, which is heavier. One aspect of uh, understanding what our customers need was that how do we ensure that image stabilization happens at its best? And this is one aspect of this camera that we have in introduced, dual image stabilization. And a fantastic marriage between the stabilization which happens in the lens and the body itself. So I am sure that this will set this camera apart from the others which are available in the market. And I'm sure in terms of what kind of performance it delivers, my colleague Gaurav is going to speak about this in detail. The second aspect is user interface. We have really tried to understand that how do we make this camera extremely easy for our customers to be using it. And in situations where uh, quick decisions are to be made depending on the circumstances, 
one has to go through a lot of digital menus to select their own preferences. So a lot of insights have gone in understanding that what kind of basic changes customers make most of the time to make sure that they capture the best of the images. And we have created a lot of buttons on this camera. And that's another reason that the body has become slightly bigger. And uh, we have made sure that the body is extremely ergonomic. One can maneuver through these buttons in the easier manner possible. And therefore, we have paid a lot of attention in creating the best possible user interface. And the third aspect is durability. Needless to say that Panasonic is known for products which are extremely reliable and durable. And so has happened with this camera also. Under all conditions where a rugged usage might happen, this camera is going to have the best performance ever. And then it comes with a fantastic battery backup. And of course, uh, my colleagues will speak about the kind of connectivity which this camera provides to customers. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely thankful to you for having attended uh, this very important launch. And I wish uh, my team all the best for the launch today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sharma. Ladies and gentlemen, as Mr. Manish Sharma rightly said, Panasonic, I believe, has truly revolutionized the way we record our memories, the way we look back at our past. To give you some more insights, I'd like to invite Mr. Sandeep Segal, Chief Business Chief, Panasonic India, to come up on the stage right <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Sandeep Segal. Thank you very much. And I welcome you all. Good afternoon. It is my privilege to welcome you all. It gives me a lot of honor to welcome you all today towards the journey of Lumix. As we enter the full frame for the first time, so I would like to take you through the journey of uh, Lumix, glorious uh, journey of Lumix. Last year, we celebrated 10 years of digital mirror cameras. And Panasonic G1 completing 10 years since introduction of world's first mirrorless camera as a leader in technological innovation. I would like you to go through the glimpse of the video of Lumix. So be it 60 frames full HD video or world's first camera with 4K or introduction of 4K 4.2.2.10, but Panasonic has been leader in innovations. Needless to say, Lumix with its strong collaboration with Leica for over 18 years has contributed to Lumix business worldwide for the growth. Leica's optical technology and craftsmanship contribute the image quality for which Lumix is known for. Our factory in Yamagata, Japan, which produces the lenses is also certified by Leica. As we lead the camera industry with 4K, we are also committed to be leader in 8K technology towards the Tokyo and Beijing Olympics. We will dare to challenge the industry with 8K cameras too, to break the paradigm of photo and video photography. With this, I would like to invite my colleague Gaurav to take us through the launch of S1 product presentation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Manish San, thank you Sandeep San for giving us the insight about Lumix business. So it's, it's a hot afternoon and in the next 30 minutes you all are going to witness one of the hottest products which is coming up in the, in the near street. So before we move ahead uh, for the S1 uh, part, I would like to share the history behind uh, the Lumix business. 
GH5 has been our breakthrough model in India. When we introduced the GH5, uh, we entered into the video arena and we further improved with the GH5S uh, specifically for the low sensitivity part. So this model has actually given us a breakthrough into professionals and today a lot of professionals are using the GH5 and the GH5S specifically for wedding and cinema market as well. To add up uh, to this point, the GH5 and the GH5S followed by the Vericam series that we have, we have an entire solution for the customer, beginning from a compact camera to a DSLM and then to the cinema cameras. So, S1. This camera is much awaited in the industry and personally for me, it's been almost seven years in Panasonic and I always wanted a full frame camera in my kitty. And today, the first challenge, the mission is accomplished but the vision still remains to be among the top full frame brands in the country. So before I talk about the product detailing, I think it is better that we hear it out from the industry expert. Today we have uh, with us Mr. Radhakrishnan. Mr. Radhakrishnan is, uh, is a photographer for almost three decades now and he also is running a YouTube channel called as Pixel Village which gives a review about the product. So he had uh, reviewed the product uh, an entire detailed product which is there on his YouTube channel. So can I invite Mr. Radhakrishnan? Thank you. Thank you, sir, for joining. Thank you. All good? Thank you very much. So, Mr. Radha, you have uh, done the experience of the product. You have done review also, a detailed, in-depth review in terms of feature capability, in terms of still photography and video. What do you think about the camera? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me tell you, he said a lot of things about me. <laughs> I did not that was too less. Say that. Yeah. Not, I'm, yeah, I'm getting paid to say all these things. But <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so I got, uh, ever since the announcement uh, of these lions, the L Alliance in Photokina, this is, according to me, one of the most awaited product in uh, the recent history of photography yes. product launches. Absolutely, yeah. So I've been waiting for it. And uh, one day I get a call from uh, Panasonic asking me if I would uh, like to, you know, take a look at this product yeah. and uh, make an independent review about it. So, yes, we did. What we got was, like we very clearly said in our uh, uh, review, that it was a pre-production model. So some of the capabilities were still Absolutely, yes, yes, absolutely. But I, um, so like he said, three decades, so I obviously started with the good old films, and uh, I've had this opportunity to, you know, kind of uh, use all possible formats and cameras and of different sizes and shapes. Yeah. So this one definitely had that you know, it really appealed to me because I'm from a slightly yeah. previous generation, yeah. but it had all the features which yeah. a new photographer would uh, look yeah. for and more. Yeah, right, so, right. Yeah. With the 47 megapixel, we're bringing in the industry's highest resolution. And the most important point is the pixel shift technology, which we are talking about. Uh, with a 187 mega megapixel image is what we can produce out of the pixel shift technology. So this was not there when we have given the pre-production unit, but with the new unit, you will have that feature. And this feature, I believe, would be a game changer, specifically for the commercial photographers. Right, so for the benefit of uh, the people here, yeah. I'm assuming a large percentage are not photographers. Yeah. This particular technology that Gaurav San is talking about, uh, the pixel, shifting technology is a very smart way of integrating in, uh, you know what you already have and yeah. converting it to your advantage so a photographer who want to get the maximum out of the camera from a from I, I, well the camera which i got this particular function was not enabled because it was a previous generation firmware um, so with a with a with a with a, with a 42 meg, 47 megapixel camera you can actually shoot 187 Seven megapixel meg yes. single raw image. Which Absolutely. Is the first time. Yes, yes. Yeah, so. and, and then the industry's first 5.7 million dots on the electronic viewfinder. That is in itself is a revolution and very important for professional photographers. Exactly. So coming from you know the old generation of photographers, um, 
I, you can figure it out from the color. It's not a dye, it's actual white. So uh, optical, we, we're all used to optical viewfinders right. uh, as photographers. And uh, most, you know, during the you know, so-called mirrorless revolution, we saw many different types of cameras. Uh, the viewfinder, because it is, there's no mirror inside, yeah. Uh, and you have to look through something called an EVF, an electronic viewfinder. The reproduction wasn't all that uh, great. And, you know, I mean, probably thanks to your late entry, you could yeah. bring the best in. Yeah. It almost felt, felt like an optical viewfinder yeah, to me. Right. So and I in that. fact, uh, also, also the rear, view, rear LCD, because most photographers these days go with the LCD and they shoot the image. Correct? This one really kind of give you a real a near accurate rendition of all the colors and exposure yeah. in the rear LCD. Yes. So that's something which I Absolutely. enjoy too. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, Manisa also mentioned about uh, the, uh, you know, minus 10 degree kind of a centigrade uh, performance where camera can actually be used even at a minus 10 degree also, or for example, in a, in a highly heated area as well. So that performance is there. And we ourselves have tested the camera. Uh, specifically in Ladakh, uh, we had one of our mentors, uh, Abhishek. Abhishek actually shot the camera, and it was almost at minus 17 degree, and it performed extremely well. So that is another aspect when it comes to the he photography. Even posted pictures. Of yes, the absolutely. That was on the, the social media. The yes. Camera yes. Yes. Kept on the yes. Slab of ice. Yes. Yeah. So when it comes to overall performance of the camera, so we as Panasonic have always been work on a theory of color reproduction. Our colors are the best when it comes to the reproduction of, uh, you know, uh, for professionals particularly. And uh, I've, I've met a lot of professionals who have mentioned that they have used Panasonic products and they have not done any color grading. So whatever they've shot actually is what they've posted or for example, given to their end customers. So that is another advantage and that is another technology that we work on, the color reproduction. and. This is one of the images which has been shot by one of our mentors. And look at the blue color and look at the purple color here. So everything is in detail. So that also is kept in mind when it comes to the S1. That also comes with a similar sort of a theory. Absolutely. Uh, I am assuming that most majority yeah. of your uh, end users is going to, are going to be from the wedding, you know, communi wedding photography community. Yes. And Indian weddings are about colors. And uh, I think they're going to benefit from it because as I, since I interact with a lot of photographers personally, yeah. color has been the biggest uh, problem for many, okay? It's a digital camera, all right, but what you see is not what you get most of the time. So you need to really know what the camera is capable of to get you know, the best out of the camera. Now, in this case, by introducing this in-camera... Now, this particular feature also was not available yes. in the model that I yes. got. So I'm looking forward to looking Absolutely. at something like I this. Absolutely. I think I can just play so a video sure, also yeah, to please, give an insight yeah. about uh, the you. camera performance. I'm Lumix Global Ambassador William Innes, and we're in beautiful Colombia. Okay. Okay. We're at the beach right now, but we've spent the last two days shooting in Cartagena, and one thing we discovered is how amazing the people are. They're friendly, and they're willing to help you with anything you need. We're here shooting the new Lumix S-Series full-frame camera. So one of the new lenses for the S-Series is a 50 millimeter 1.4. Optically, it's amazing. The eyes are tack sharp and the bokeh is absolutely beautiful. Although I'm really known for wedding photography, my second passion is travel photography. And this camera, the S-Series, is gonna create some amazing landscape and travel photos for my repertoire. So one of the great things about the Lumix S-Series is the new high resolution feature. You can actually shoot images with approximately four times the pixel count. I love the high resolution mode for a couple of reasons. First, it lets me create these epic landscapes, uh, be able to make very large prints out of these images, and it'll also give me more pixels to play with when editing my photos. 
Although we're here in Colombia shooting with only two lenses, I can't wait for the release of other lenses. There's this whole partnership between Panasonic, Leica, and Sigma, and it's gonna be amazing in a little while when all these lenses are available to photographers all over the world to create these beautiful photographs. After using the S-Series camera for three days, some of the things I really like about the camera, it's really well made, there's a lot of metal, it feels like a real good machine. The potential is just unlimited where this will go with lenses and as new bodies are added to the system. With that being said, I don't think there's much more to ask for. So that was the video from our uh, mentor, uh, based, out of, uh, based out of US. But the most important point which we talk about is the high resolution mode, the 187 megapixel. And that is where it's a clear example of a thread which is being shot uh, at, uh, at a tripod, kept at a tripod on a high resolution mode. And that's where you get. If you zoom in, in a high resolution mode, this is the kind of image that you get. And in a normal mode, this is the blurred image that you get. So high resolution mode, this kind of image is only possible only with Lumix, with the pixel shift technology, which is very important. And this pixel shift technology also has, uh, is also there in the S1. So the S1 comes with a 24 megapixel, and with the pixel shift technology, it becomes a 96 megapixel whooping image. I am, I am personally really looking forward to some images uh, yes. from Jesse, Nakul, you know, they're landscape, right. landscape masters, yes. and Abhishek San, so <laughs> looking forward to some amazing higher resolution images. Absolutely, and bringing, uh, so some, so what is new? So what is new for our cameras, as in comparison to a lot of cameras which are there in the market is, one is the pixel shift technology that we are talking about, the other is the HDR photo. Now this is another point which I believe you have not tested because we have given you the initial camera, but the HDR photo where you get the entire dynamic range of the, of the image is only possible with Lumix. So this is also an industry's first that we are displaying here. You also have uh, panels that you can display. Wish, absolutely. Know, so, so another point. Absolutely. We, we are the only company who are giving an input and an output solution as well. And uh, Panasonic TVs and the cameras are giving an entire solution to the customer. So that is also there when it comes to a new photography sort of a culture. Just to decipher what he said, uh, most of us see the images that we shoot in mobile devices these days. And most mobile device, devices cannot really reproduce all the colors that you have shot. Yes. Now, we are going towards HDR kind of display right, panel soon, right. and this camera is future ready. So if you take a picture with this in that HDR mode, you actually, from a same scene or same scenario or you know, uh, the subject, you tend to see more colors. You can see more colors. Uh, as you, as, Absolutely, as yeah, your, right. You know, and no, not to miss out on the video aspect, we have been the leaders for videos, and GH5 and GH5S have been the breakthrough models and highly evaluated and appreciated by our professionals. But we've not missed out on the video uh, aspect. That is where we are calling the S1 as more of a hybrid camera, a still solution, and a video solution as well. So 4K 60p with a 60 mm, 4K 60p with an HDMI live output is possible, and with the firmware update, which we are going to uh, introduce in the month of July as well. So that has also been announced. Wonderful. So I, am a, I was a still photographer who graduated to, you know, doing cinematography using, I would like to use the word cinematography using DSLR cameras. Video is another, but, you know, there's a lot to talk about it, but in this forum, let me tell you, that this, the, the kind of video that it, I got out of this, I did not get too much yeah, time, and right, you guys right. snatched it away from us quickly, Absolutely. but I wish I had it for a few more days. Yeah. But uh, uh, amazing videos. Uh, like I said, they're not paying me to say this, but uh, <laughs> amazing videos. One of the best yes. videos that I have seen coming out of a DSLR. Yes, yes. And as you, well, that slide is gone. So as you go, forward in a, in, a, in a month's time, you yeah. can see more video capabilities coming in the camera just by an yes. upgrade of phone. Yes, hair. yes. In fact, to talk about the video capability, one of our mentors uh, has also shot a video. He's right here, Shitish from Shoot Guru. So, Mr. Yeah. Radha, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'll invite Shitish as well. Shitish, can we have here? Thank can you we very have much here? for the opportunity. Yeah. Please promise me to send the final version. Absolutely. At, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. How are you, Shitej? I'm good, thank you, I'm thank good. you so much. So, Shitej, before we start about your part, we'll just uh, start the presentation. 
with your video, what you have shot in Varanasi. Shitesh, this has been shot uh, with Lumix. I believe it should be with a 50 mm. Um, so this was shot in Guwahati. Uh, so Guwahati is known for uh, silk. And uh, let me tell you, it was not shot on a 50 mm. It really? Was actually, shot on the kit lens. That is a 24 105. All the shots oh, were handheld. This was amazing. This was out of the blue. I mean, I thought it is a 50 mm sort of a image. What I really felt like, so I got the camera, I asked, I actually asked for the camera for this particular shoot because we were heading to Guwahati to shoot this and what we realized with this camera was the kit lens, so since the other lenses weren't available, so we just had a 24-105 f4 available to our disposal and yes. the kit lens has this feature which is the macro feature which was by far my favorite feature which allowed me to go into the shot because this, these kind of shots, the, the shots we were taking needed detail and uh, it also allowed me not to switch from a wide to a macro lens and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I could get all my shots very easily. I think that this is one of the examples of the shots also. This has been done by one of our global mentors. And during, uh, during uh, so, so specifically for the journalism, uh, they face a lot of difficulties or a lot of uh, areas where they need the camera. Uh, the operability of the camera is very important, the durability is very important, and that is where at such sort of a condition also we are able to capture such sort of a dynamic range and the low light uh, level as well. So, I mean, it's truly a, it's an uncompromised full frame camera, what I feel, because uh, in any kind of situation that we travel, uh, most of the times we can't use tripods, we can't uh, get the camera uh, onto a gimbal or uh, any of that kind of yes. things. And plus, uh, with today's day and age, uh, the best is if you can shoot in the lowest light possible. And this camera actually allowed us uh, to shoot without adding lights to our shots, which you can see here, only the fire is lighting yeah, again, the faces. Yes. And uh, it's brilliant. I mean, it, re it really gets the colors out. And plus, the dynamic range that this camera gives is mind-blowing. And when we post-process it, when we color grade it, even though I got a camera which didn't have the log as of now, but uh, even on the uh, H.264 uh, uh, format, we actually were able to color grade it to a, quite an extent and play with the dynamic range. In fact, these sort of uh, images are being achieved largely because of the image stabilization part. And that is what I said, uh, with the image stabilization part, we have gone one notch ahead. With the five axis, now we have a six stop image stabilization. And that is where this is very important when it comes to low light, when it comes to portrait, when it comes to using the high resolution mode with the pixel shift technology as well. So I, I believe you've done a testing on the image stabilization. How do you think so, about that performance? Uh, yes, most of the, like, the film that we just showed, uh, showed was all shot on uh, hand, uh, like handled no, uh, tripods. We couldn't get even a gimbal inside because they were very small areas we were shooting in. Um, I could actually walk with the camera uh, handheld and still get a stabilized image uh, out of it. And if you definitely, if you're shooting, let's say 4K 60p, the slow mo that you get out of that in 4K is uh, just amazing because then you can actually post process it better. Yeah, absolutely, a combination of a body and a lens stabilization gives you such sort of an image, right? So uh, again, 
A lot has been talked about our autofocus performance, but uh, today I would like to mention that our autofocus performance is largely working on the artificial intelligence. And that is what we discussed during our uh, you know, one on one discussion, where you also raised the point about the autofocus performance. And uh, so the idea is that there is no noise, the sharpness is being uh, kept in the, in the image while using the artificial intelligence that we use for the autofocus performance. So, how do you find that feature? So, um, the camera comes with deep learning, uh, that is what uh, I got to know about it and believe me, it learns. Because when you're clicking images, when you're in uh, situations where getting the settings right is the problem, the camera automatically understands what you're shooting. It reads your images and the background, the light, everything perfectly and Absolutely. it reproduces. Next time you're in the same situation, it actually allows you to reproduce it better. Another thing, the focus tracking of this camera is so beautiful that I could actually, um, while moving, track faces. Um, I had, uh, even in the, uh, in the manual mode, it actually gave me detection in yeah. which I could track uh, somebody, I could touch focus. So all of that, the whole learning experience of the camera adds value to uh, what you're shooting in situations where usually you would want uh, added equipment or added things. Uh, in fact, the more you use, the better it gets. That yeah. sort of a technology is what we're producing here. So coming back to the lenses part, now this is a very, very important point. Uh, as of now, we are bringing in the first three lenses and the 24-105 is no less than a high resolution lens. I mean, it is not a kit, kit lens. We should not say that this is like a basic uh, you know, kit lens and the kind of performance that has been shot in your video with the lens is uh, quite visible. So I mean, um, again, I would repeat what uh, Mr. Radha said that I'm not getting paid to say any of this. But I personally love the kit lens more than any of the other lenses. So we got to try the 70 to 200 and also the 50 mm 1.4, yes. which is a super fast and a super sharp lens. Uh, but uh, the, a company where it gives a kit lens at a level what uh, the 24-105 is coming with uh, the Lumix S1 yep. is mind blowing. Plus, um, what I feel with the, MM, yes. with the Leica backing Absolutely. and the Leica technology, Leica has always been known for the technology, been known for the glass. Um, I have in the past used Leicas as well and the glass is always what we've talked about and uh, I believe that that is coming here as well. I think it is purely because of our collaboration with Leica. It's almost about 17 plus years that we have collaborated with Leica and uh, we have taken this assignment next step forward where we've got Sigma also as our partners in Alliance and they are going to produce lenses for us and in totality we'll be having almost 42 lenses in the L Mount series by 2020. Uh, Gaurav, I just wanted to ask you one thing. Uh, we do have a converter to add other lenses, right? We can Absolutely. So that lenses. is also available, which is the mount converter coming up from Sigma. It is anyways available in the market across the world and even in India as well. So you can use your all your lenses with the adapter. Awesome. That's amazing. So it's very important that when we are entering into professionals, and now that with the S1 and the S1R, we'll be addressing to the professionals, it is very important that we as Panasonic gives services to people like you, the professionals. So that is where the entire program has been designed. It is a real-time support where we are going to give these professionals a real-time support by, by giving the lenses, by giving the lenses uh, for testing or, or, for example, improving or giving the loan kits lenses to utilize the cameras better. So that is the pr program that we have decided. And as a phase one, uh, we are launching this program in Delhi, followed by the other cities as well. So I believe this will really help us to penetrate yeah, into the I mean, professional I've, market. I've personally felt it where this is where Panasonic uh, is apart from anybody else that I've worked with in the past. Um, they allow you to test their products before you actually plan to buy them. That's one part. Second, the kind of workshops that uh, Panasonic is uh, organizing. Uh, yeah. I got, when I bought the GH5, that was my, uh, GH5S, that was my first uh, Panasonic camera. I didn't know half of the things that camera could do. And once I attended a workshop that was uh, being done by the national trainer, Hitesh, and that is where I realized what the real potential or the real power of that camera was. And my quality of production actually increased post that. Absolutely. So, and that I really appreciate Panasonic uh, doing these kind of efforts, uh, which will sure. actually help uh, filmmakers who can't afford all kind of lenses right. to at least get good shots in their upcoming films. And then, of course, by those Thank lenses. you. Thank you. Thank you, Shitesh. Uh, you've been a great help. Uh, you've given a lot of insight uh, to all our users here, and we continue to work together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So before we move ahead, can we have the product presentation and the product video as well?
videos yeah and then my son has to come here no i'll be here Joining Mr. Manish Sharma on stage is Mr. Suguru Takamatsu, Deputy Managing Director, Consumer Business. Along with Mr. Sandeep Segal, Mr. Gaurav Garvi. Ladies and gentlemen, the much-awaited Lumix S1 and S1R. Settle down.
Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to open the floor for question and answers. You can, and you're most welcome to ask questions. There's going to be a mic floating around in the audience. But before you do ask a question, don't forget to give yourself, give an introduction about yourself to us, and also specify the question that you're asking to which dignitary here. Keep it as short and as crisp as possible. Thank you. Can we take the first question from the audience? I'm sure you all are brimming up with questions that you have in regards to the product that we've just unveiled. Right there, yes, we have. Uh, we'll just get the mic to you. Please introduce yourself before you ask the question. Hi, this is Nitaj from 91 Mobiles. So first I wanted to know the pricing of these models with body as well as with lens. Okay, thank you for the question and uh, the best part, the best part about uh, S1 and S1 pricing, they are very, very strategically kept. S1 body begins from 19990 India price. Nine, uh, 1 lakh 99,000. And S1R? S1R body is 298,990. And lens will be? With the lens with kit, kit, so 1, uh, one lakh 99,000 is the S1 body. The S1 M kit with the 24105 F4 is at 267,990. The S1R body is 298,990. And the S1R body is 367,990. And when can we expect the software update which you mentioned for the vlog? So this is uh, announced globally and the software uh, would be available by July 2019. Okay, and any estimated price for, I mean, how that fee will be charged? Well, we have still not decided, but uh, as of now, it will be more of a paid software. Do we have another question from the audience? You can ask any question. It's your opportunity to ask them. They are here to answer all your queries, any doubts that you have pertaining to the product that's just been unveiled. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let go of this opportunity. Grab it and ask, ask away. You know, I was wondering if Henry Carthay Bresso was alive today, he must have used, he would have possibly used this camera. Don't you guys agree? Anyone? Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We've just witnessed this grand launch. I would like to thank each one of you for taking out your precious time and joining us, making this afternoon even more wonderful with all of your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your warm response once again and for supporting Panasonic India in its endeavor to be by being present here. Our media friends can now experience the newly launched S1 and S1R at the demo zones. We'd also like to invite you for lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much once again.